Why did you choose now to decide not to be, be Jedi-ing anymore? Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Star Wars Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight! Where I just need to know where to go next. Probably across there, if I had to venture a guess. The only question is how am I going to accomplish that? Who knows? I'm sure the Jedi Master can find a way. Potentially. Or not. Talking about getting a little waterlogged, huh? What's over here? Nothing. Fantastic. My favorite thing to have over here. Literally nothing. Hurrah! There should be something over here, actually. Alright. That didn't lead anywhere helpful, I don't think. All that did was, I think it moved that one piping. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, interesting. Look at that. Well, those are now one. Okay, I can't move it again. I'm guessing it was supposed to be like that. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. Okay. I guess I have to crouch to go down. I can't just point it downward and then go down. Meh. The fact that there are now enemies shooting at me means they must have done something right. After all, they wouldn't be shooting at me if I wasn't on the right track, would they? Maybe they would. Yeah, nah, usually in these kind of games, they spawn enemies when you're on the right track. Where are you? Oh, I see. Look at that. Wait a minute. Where are you? Must be on the other side of that wall. But indiscriminately firing like a bit of a doofus. Yep, I was right. Doofus. Alrighty then. This is now opened. How wonderful. Those water effects are still pretty jarring, though. What is with the lines across them? Almost looks like an impressionist art style or something. You better be dead. Ah, crap. This is bad for my health. Yeah, I would imagine so. Giant insects and electricity can't be very good for the old heart. Hmm. I'm guessing that touching the floor would be very bad. Yep. Damn it. Okay, get out. Get out. Can't get out. I'm stuck in here. I'm trapped. Son of a freaking! There has to be somewhere I can get to. It wouldn't have had this ledge if I wasn't meant to get on it. Of course, I'm stuck again. Wait a minute, I could just go up here. Main. Main. Wait a minute. That's weird. I wasn't able to get up there before. Like it's messing with me. That's worse. I was gonna say better, but no, nope, clearly it's worse. Phew, thank goodness I got past that. 
Although... Ah, uh, of course. Thank God I have a shield light, huh? Although that took a chunk out of my health. I do not like losing that much health. I could easily get myself into an unwinnable position like that. Don't want to take anything to chance, you know? Another one of you. Speaking of not th taking things to chance, best eliminate all of you. Or you pose a problem. Damn it. How come I can't make that angle? Why does that wall just shove me back out of the way? What the hell, man? What the hell? Am I not supposed to go this way? Am I supposed to go from it that other angle? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but still. It doesn't mean I have to like it. I'm gonna die before I even reach there, aren't I? Health pack. I don't know, I lost almost as much health as I gained. Damn it. I can't seem to make the jump from here. Oh, well, maybe I should just not jump, huh? Maybe I should just let myself fall down here. Only one problem. I still can't exactly get out. This health gain had better be worth it. Can I use any Jedi powers, either? Oh, okay. That changes my weapons. Wish I had some way to change my Jedi powers. But I can't seem to. I don't think I even have any Jedi powers right now, so... Wait a minute, I avoided taking damage. Not gonna last much longer because I can't seem to get out of this damned thing. Phew, okay. Just not jump. Just walk. Well, run, technically. Take that, you freaks. Phew, okay. Here we go. Thank goodness, I made it. My father's workshop. Ouija has got to be in here. Probably. Then again, maybe not. Maybe life is cruel. Oh. Huh. I didn't realize that it was that simple. But the level would be over already. message is intended for my son, Kyle Katan. Kyle, I have left two very important items for you. The first is a map to the Valley of the Jedi, and is embedded in the stone ceiling above this room. The last is a lightsaber that once belonged to a friend and great Jedi, Ran. Use it well. Use it for good. Now I have a lightsaber. Interesting. Thank you, Father. The Jedi's lightsaber. Use the aqueducts and irrigation channels behind the house to make your way to the rendezvous point with Jan. Let's nice. Let's see what this saber can do. Yeah. 
I'm gonna swing this thing around. Have some fun. He did mention something about coordinates embedded in the ceiling. Which ceiling, I wonder? Oh, okay. I guess I am supposed to go down here. Yeah. It's gonna force you to get used to this lightsaber, whether you like it or not. And luckily, I do like it. Nice. Take this, you fiend. Technically, I can still use my guns, but... I mean, why not use the lightsaber? It's sort of like Jedi Academy. Except Jedi Academy is obviously more advanced because it came out later. It's the sequel to this game. It's kind of funny how... This one is also called Dark Forces 2, and I think uh, Jedi Academy is also called Jedi Knight 2. Just so you know that they're connected. I think um, in Jedi Academy, Kyle Katarn is the master teaching a new generation of students. But obviously in the first two games, you play as Kyle Katarn. Which is kind of cool. It's interconnected, you see. I'm pretty sure I'm going the wrong way, but I'm pretty sure I have no idea. Also, the fact that the lightsaber gives off its own light is great. Obviously, it logically would, but it's very handy, you see. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Wow, I can actually jump up here. And that's where I started out from. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to go back here, was I? Probably not. I was supposed to go this way. Man, even when it's linear, I managed to get lost. <laughs> Shows how much I know, doesn't it? I complain when maps are linear, but it seems like I can't find where I'm going if there's even a single branching path. Although, to be fair, this seems to be a dead end as well. So where does that leave me? Not like I can use the lightsaber to just cut my way through. Oh. Maybe I should have looked for a switch. Wow. I am not very bright now, am I? Thanks, buddy. I should be more careful about when I swing, because when you're swinging your lightsaber, you're not blocking shots. Nice. Oh, look at that. You can dismember them. That's something that's sadly missing in later games. Especially in the Disney era of Star Wars. Seems losing limbs isn't allowed anymore. I mean, uh, Phasma was supposed to lose her arm in a deleted cut, in a deleted scene, but it was deleted. Can we even lose limbs anymore? Although it's weird because... They show blood. I know that, um, what got Finn to defect is because his friend's blood just gets caked all over his Stormtrooper helmet, which is pretty grisly. They allow that, but I guess... Eh, I guess dismemberment is a little too far. Even though with a lightsaber, it would logically be bloodless, so it's not like it has to be that gruesome. I'm just saying. Man, the current is strong. This current must be the force, because it is strong in me. How much oxygen do I actually have? I don't see... Oh, wait a minute. Do I see a little thing lowering on the right-hand corner? No, I don't see it. I hope I wasn't losing health. I mean, I have a hundred, so I don't think I was, but I wasn't paying attention. I was focused on the lower right-hand corner. I thought I saw something move. Yeah. 
Maybe I shouldn't use my lightsaber in all situations. It seems to be costing me quite a lot of shielding. And shielding is just as important as ammo. Heck, it might actually be more important. Because it's like my second health bar. Not to mention, I do like me some first person shooters. Okay, let's do this. Well, let's do this thing. Or something. Right, is that a dead end? Well, I don't seem to have my field light, but thankfully the this handy dandy lightsaber provides me a bit of light. Yeah, seriously, I'm pressing the enter, the field light does not work anymore. Maybe that's why. Really? Are you supposed to be able to jump past it somehow to get to that gun? Because I want the gun. I want the gun, if I'm being honest. Give me the gun. Oh, why would you do this to me? Gotta cut my way through if I'm gonna survive this. Oh jeez, get out of the water. Although, maybe I should have stayed in the water. Who knows? Ah, uh, that's much better though. Smell that air. Nicely done. Huh, look at that. And look at that too. They may consider it as who was wasting their gun. Hopefully I'll make better use out of it. Or at least the ammo inside of it. I'd probably chuck the gun. Since dual wielding is not a thing in this universe. Unless. Anyway. Huh, look at that. Am I supposed to jump? Geronimo! Ow. I think my legs broke. What do you mean water isn't a soft isn't always a soft landing? And that if you fall from far enough, even falling in water can kill you. Ah, humbug. You just aren't believing enough in the heart of the force. Or something. That should be a meme. That whatever, um... Whatever is the main driving force of a show, you should just say the heart of that. So for this, it's the heart of the force. For Naruto, it's heart of the chakra. What? Let me think. I forgot what it was called. Uh, hockey. Part of the hockey for One Piece. That was my bad. All I could think of was Hakai, and that was obviously wrong. That's Dragon Ball Super. Part of the key for Dragon Ball Z. And of course, part of the ripping and tearing for Doom. Or maybe Heart of the Chainsaw. I don't know. Hello. Hey. Turning around like... Cycling around me like that to get off a cheap hit? How cowardly of you. Nice. I really need to go for those sniper shots. A long way down. And since we've established that water does not remove fall damage, I should definitely be careful. And watch me immediately fall to my death. See if I can get that. Nope. It may be a very accurate shot, but that relies on you actually having good aim. 
Spoilers, viewers! Not quite so much. On my part. Maybe I should go this way. Yes, that might be better. Maybe just a bit. Hey, how dare you? I would have hit you had you not moved slightly. Aha! I have learned the deadly art of aiming where you were going to be. I am clearly the greatest Jedi Knight to ever live. At least in my own head. Inside my own head, there are no better Jedis than me. Oh crap. And then watch Mace Windu appear inside my head and say we do not grant you the rank of Master. I can't even be a Jedi Knight in my own head. Just Mace Windu always be appearing inside of it, telling me what I can't be. Oh boy. I love how I appeared in the water and then it, and then he died. It's like it took the game a, a second to realize, oh wait, this is marked as instant death. Nope. That didn't happen. You didn't see nothing. Clearly your eyes are playing tricks on you. You need to believe in the Force. And by believing in the Force, I mean you should believe whatever I tell you to believe. Because that didn't happen. Clearly. Clearly. You know, when they still wiggle around before finally dying, it makes me think they're going to spring back up. Or pose a threat. Gets me a little antsy, you know? Just a little antsy. Ah, very nice. Oh boy. How did I... How did I get pulled along while I was jumping in front... Jumping ahead of it? I mean, jumping on top of it. Does the current not check to see if you're actually above water or not? Now look at that. I was clearly jumping above it, but I guess this sector doesn't detect if you're actually in the water or not before applying the freaking current effect. That's a little weird to me. Not gonna lie. This seems a little archaic to me. I mean, I don't wanna... I don't wanna judge you for your, um... Inadequate me engine mechanics, but Duke 3D probably has more advanced mechanics than that. And Dark Forces 1 is basically like a copycat of the build engine when you get down to it. So what I'm saying is, if you think about it, it's almost like it's ripping, it's worse than Dark Forces in some way. Or maybe not. Here you go, buddy. trying. Phew, that was a close one. You can't get rid of Kyle Katarn that easily. I will always come back. I'm like William Afton. But a Jedi instead of a freaky zombie man. A freaky purple zombie man. Let me think. Well, okay then. What's all this then? How do I get out? Is there a way out of here? Okay, here we go. Before you say we'll just slip through here, can't be done. This, however, looks big enough for me to slip through. Yes, nice and big. Just the way I like it. I mean, what? Okay, um... 
Where to next? Is that an elevator? Nope, it is not. I cannot interact with it at all. This, however, looks promising. Oh, how long can he hold his breath anyway before he starts taking damage? I don't see any indicators of breath, so I guess it's one of those indica one of those times where you just have to guess. I mean, I can't entirely blame it because Duke 3D had the same problem. I think Quake even had the same issue. Oh boy. the hell? Well then. I guess I'm gonna have to hurry up and get out of here. But since the water level rose, that means I have to go even farther up. Which means I'm inevitably gonna take some drain damage. Not to mention damage from whatever the hell that thing was. Drown, don't drown. Oh, shit. Shit, I did not expect that. Ah, oh, crap. You have to press, you have to both press some um, crouch and forward. That is a weird system. I need to find my way out of here. Well, at least once you're crouching or jumping to go up and down, where you're pointing actually does help you go faster. I wish I had known that, known that before. This uh, allows you to descend, and then actually holding it down actually forces you in that direction faster. Okay, now I need to hurry up and get out of here before I start drowning. I killed that creature, whatever it was. Oh shit, only to drown? The great Kyle Katarn has bested the beast only to drown to death. Now that would be a lame story, don't you think? Oh boy. How do I get out of here? Pretty sure going the way I came isn't going to be so viable. Not exactly. Right. <gasps> okay, made it just in time. I'm just gonna save here and then I'm gonna kill it and then quickly go back because I am a lot closer there than I am over there. Pretty sure I have to kill the thing. It just seems necessary for something. Since you can't exactly leave any other way. Oh crap. Okay, here we go. Now I need to try to quickly surface wherever it is I need to go. <gasps> Too close. Okay, maybe I need to go to the other one. I, I noticed that there were two of them, I think. Yeah, there's another one. Nope. Oh, wait, I can outrun it. Awesome. Is this where actually where I came in from? Nope. Uh, there's a guy shooting at me. That means that it was not... That I did not come from here. Why are you not blocking, Kyle? Did you decide, nope, I don't feel like Jedi-ing anymore? I mean, I guess that's sort of understandable, but... Why now? Why did you choose now to decide not to be, be Jedi-ing anymore? This is very inconvenient for me, you know. 
however, I am all out of time, so I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. I think I actually did come from this way, which means I gotta go the other way. Make sure to spread this video around like currents and current events. Oh, secret area, nice. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day, and try to find all of life's secrets. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep notified of new videos, and maybe even check out these videos right here. If you wanted to like and leave a comment, that'd be great too.